Joni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, good morning, everybody. Most places getting a dusting of snow overnight. Some of those side roads could be slick but uh, no major accumulations and the snow that fell overnight continues to move away. In fact, as we look at live pinpoint Doppler 12, it's gone. A few snow bands out towards the Cape, but we'll continue to clear out the skies over the next several hours. In Providence, temperature is still chilly. We're at 13 degrees. Block Island, you're at 18. Newport, 16. New Bedford, 13. Now, it's not quite as bad as last night because the winds aren't quite as uh, busy. You can see in Providence right now, we have winds out of the northwest at 6 miles an hour. Still a wind chill at 4, so it's not balmy out there by any means, but at least the winds aren't quite as bad. You can see in New Bedford uh, right now a completely calm wind with a uh, temperature of 13 degrees under clear skies. And for the rest of the afternoon, the breezes will pick up a little bit and it will be another cold day here in the capital city and across the rest of southern New England. For this afternoon, temperature 25, cold and breezy, winds out of the west at 5 to 15 miles an hour. As we go into the overnight hours, once again down into the teens in Providence, single digits to the north and west of Providence, winds between 5 and 12 miles an hour. And then tomorrow, a little bit milder. We're still just below the freezing mark, but we'll take what we can get at this point. 31 degrees is your high temperature, mostly sunny skies, a little breezy, kind of like today, winds at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. As we look at the satellite picture, notice the snow continues to move away. We have a few lingering low clouds and those will hang tough across the Cape today, but inland and even down across most of Rhode Island and northern Bristol County, Massachusetts will bring in a decent amount of sunshine. We take you a little bit closer to show you the uh, hour by hour details and you can see we go right to the seven day. Now you're probably thinking this is a little bit early for me to approach the seven day future cast and you'd be right, but we have some new tools here at Eyewitness News and we can actually give you more details and show you what to expect throughout the day. So let's talk about the overall temperature trend now in the mid 20s by the afternoon, but it's another cold night. So by five o'clock, we're down to 22 degrees and 18 by eight o'clock this evening. So definitely a, a jacket day once again. In terms of our uh, sky cover situation, we're going to see increasing sunshine, a few lingering low clouds. This is how the sky will kind of look as we go throughout the day. And again, that dusting of snow on the ground, not really a big deal, except on some of those side roads. I noticed when I was driving to work this morning, some of those side roads quite slick and some of the ice you can't really see. It's a very thin layer in some spots, so just use caution with that. Now, as we head into tomorrow, notice how I have a high of 31 degrees. So almost the freezing mark, but it's going to be another cold start. You can see still teens at nine o'clock in the morning, upper 20s by noontime and just barely into the 30s by around three o'clock in the afternoon. We do get plenty of sunshine, so that improves things a bit as we head into tomorrow. Now on Monday, there will be a chance of some rain mixing with snow or sleet. Primarily, I'm expecting that to arrive sometime in the afternoon, say after three o'clock temperatures holding in the low 30s. And then as we go into Tuesday morning, could see some lingering sleet or even rain showers by Tuesday afternoon. Most of the precipitation should clear out. And then on Wednesday, 53, look at the huge jump in temperatures by Wednesday night. There is a chance of some rain showers moving in. Some of these showers will continue into Thursday, but I'm expecting most of your daylight hours on Wednesday to remain rain free. You can see those lingering rain showers on Thursday will be a fair amount of wind with that Wednesday to Thursday system as well. And then Friday, another temperature drop, another cold shot of air moves in 32 with mostly sunny skies. Don't forget about WPRI.com. You can always go there for your latest weather updates. So lots of new tools and we like to use these tools as we describe the very cold weather. It keeps my fingers warm. It's true. Well, you know, my fingers have been so dry recently. Uh, I've had a lot of the chap lips. Is it going to get at least a little more humid for us? It actually will by the middle of the week with the 50s, a little more moisture in the air. So your problem good. will be solved, Steve. <laughs> Sounds good, Pete. Yep. All right, let's move on right now. Now to a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News.